Good morning. My name is Joshua Lagrange and welcome to Late Talk with Josh. Tonight we have a very special first time guest. He is a skateboarder, a multidisciplinary athlete, is the founder of Sloppy Skateboard South Africa and is a author, actor and overall out of the box thinker. Let's all put our hands together and welcome Joshua. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, oh, oh. Sweet. Welcome, Josh. Sweet. It's really nice to be on your show. Thank you very much. Um, so, um, there's a couple of things that we would like to ask you upon, you know, like your skateboarding career and how far it's actually gotten you for the 30 plus years that you've been skateboarding. And yes, we'd like to also find out a little bit intricate details about your business personally. So how long have you been skateboarding? Yeah, so I've been skateboarding for 32 years now. Okay, that's actually a very long time. And there's still a lot more that I can give back to the sports initially, you know, progressing forward. What other things do you do? Besides skateboarding, um, I also I'm a go kart racer. I do a whole lot of other sports, like for example, archery, golf. Um, you know, kayaking. It's just due to the fact that which one is more affordable? Which one can I afford to do if I could afford to buy a BMX on, like you know, a uh, three years expenses I'd be able to um, go out and BMX or like you know if we stayed in an area where there was more snow I'd go out and be able to um, snowboard or you know surfboarding any anything like um, that's what I conform myself to and also I've been now um, entering myself into the marathons, you know, so start like still trying to get in there. So initially, if I can also get sponsorships like for that, that would actually work out like quite well for me. Um, hmm. That's actually a lot of stuff that you do, do, and initially, let's also just hope that you actually get to doing these things after all is said and done. So if you were sponsored, what would be the main thing that you would do? Like even if you were sponsored. Yeah, so if I were sponsored, like for one, like, if it were any sponsorship, I'd mean like I do their marketing, um, strategic based, and also um, retail based. Seeing that I, I'm also a founder of a retail sporting company that's also a part of adventure and extreme sports. Um, yeah, so there's actually like. A whole bigger picture to me being sponsored like for one I know that Red Bull um, has an initiative where they're going around building skate parks and stuff so if I can score a sponsorship with them would make it all the more easier to get in sponsorship for the Boulder skate park one of the flyers right here and yeah so some of you guys can check that out you know 
help build the skate park and it would make everything much more better uh, that's really awesome because nowadays you don't really find people that would give back to the community like for one my little Shira over here she deserves a hell of a lot but in any case um what is the next biggest trick that you plan on doing? Um, well, the next best, big, big, biggest trick that I'm busy planning on doing, like, I'm first trying to sort out, like, my old cameras and everything, and, you know, the next biggest trick that I'm planning on doing is jumping off a 2.4 meter roof, and that's gonna be shot in the video before getting sponsorship which hopefully it's gonna also help build on followers on TikTok and Instagram which I currently need to get up to now at the moment okay now you know just as long as you're safe and you know exactly what you're doing then I'd say go ahead um so this is not the main question that I've been meaning to ask now for a while is that um, what is your business all about? Yes, yeah, so my business is all about sports, adventure sports um, you know, in anything that's like Olympic sports as well uh, from your runners, running athletes, and stuff like my business is also trying to grow a foundation in schools. Um, you know, but first, like, I'm trying to start off everything in the schools from the basic that I have um, at hand, and that's the skateboarding. And yeah, so, like, you know. Um, everything becomes more achievable like once there's more hands in the pot so that's what my business is all about like it's limitless at a later stage I'm also busy planning on opening up uh, uh, an adventure um, sports warehouse where you'll have a facility for skateboarding indoor outdoor go-karting, indoor-outdoor, um, FMX tracks, rock climbing, spelunking, um, you know, like all types of sports. I'm even busy thinking like a training facility for skydiving. Um, even to have a Velcro room, bounce house, all of these things, which can also be like kids entertainment um, all of those factors so in given time I'd also like to get like in partnerships with places like um, Goldrie City because you know like with my company we'd also like to open up a skate park on their facilities and so on so hopefully all goes well oh, that's actually a really really good business plan if you have to look at it from any other perspective but then also there are a little bit of challenges that does come with it because you know not a lot of people's actually gonna take it serious at first until it's actually there okay thank you very much Josh for having you come in and being interviewed by me and thank you very much Josh for being here giving me an interview I appreciate everything man and please stay tuned for the next episode of late talk with Josh <laughs>